Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. Witnesses described more than 50 heavily armed officers, local police, sheriff's deputies, some from other agencies. Many shielded their identity with black ski masks. The score from this elaborate, multi-agency gang task force effort? A single roach from an ashtray, containing a quantity of marijuana too small to trigger an arrest. The homeowner was given a written citation. Minutes away, at a downtown courthouse, the police department was entering its first day on trial. The case, brought by activists and the American Civil Liberties Union ACLU, alleges the Memphis Police Department MPD, engaged in illegal surveillance of activists involved with Black Lives Matter and Fight for 15, including catfishing them with fake social media accounts. In a statement to The Guardian, the MPD said the timing of the raid was not related to the ACLU lawsuit in any way. Activists feel differently, the homes raided belong to the uncle and grandmother of Antonio Cathy, one of the city's more well-known activists and one of the targets of the alleged police spying. Following the raids, activists reported police searching a community garden, tailing activists in unmarked cars, and in one case pulling over a vehicle in which one passenger was an ACLU lawyer representing the activists. The lawyer was briefly detained, in handcuffs. It's most definitely intimidation and it's to show us that even the courts can stop them doing what they want to do," said Dran Franklin, a prolific activist who has described being watched and targeted by Memphis police over the last two years. According to Kathy, in the raid on his uncle's home police tossed drawers, left clothing strewn about the house and broke family pictures. When officers entered the second house, he said, they pointed weapons at his 71-year-old grandmother. It was a retaliation to what was going on in court and it was an intimidation tactic but it didn't scare me," he said. Kathy, Franklin, and the ACLU lawyer Scott Kramer were at the courthouse for the first day of the trial when Kathy got word of the raid. When Kramer arrived at the scene, he said, he saw a number of officers using masks and bandanas. One guy used what looked like a white sheet on his head and then sunglasses over top of it, Kramer said.